Hey everyone, Carl here with Trialbyte Studios, and today we're talking all about Majungasaurus. Majungasaurus has arguably one of the most interesting appearances in all of Paleo Media. Of course, I'm referring to its appearance in Jurassic Fight Club, where it captivated audiences around the world as the cannibal dinosaur known as Majungatholus. But what was Majungasaurus really like? Well, let's dive in and find out. Discovered on the island of Madagascar in 1896 by paleontologist Charles Jean Julien de Pere, sorry my French isn't very good, Majungasaurus was originally described as belonging to the Megalosaurus genus. It was not until 1955 that another paleontologist, René Lavocat, first described the genus Majungasaurus. In 1996, the first complete skull of Majungasaurus was uncovered. Believing it to be a separate animal from the one described by Depere and Lavocat, based on its teeth, the paleontologists who uncovered the skull christened their discovery as Majungatholus. After several years of research in and around the same area that the skull was discovered in, it was determined in 2007 that the skull did belong to the previously described Majungasaurus. Therefore, in 2007, the name Majungatholus was redacted, and the name Majungasaurus reinstated, and Majungasaurus was assigned to the Abelosaur family. Standing at a height of just over 2 meters, or 6.5 feet tall, Majungasaurus was a medium-sized carnivore that lived in the Cretaceous period, and survived right up until the KT event. Majungasaurus was the top predator on the island of Madagascar, and primarily preyed upon Raptosaurus. Like all other ceratosaurs, Majungasaurus sported a short, wide, bulldog-like skull, and had extensive head ornamentation. Majungasaurus separates itself from the rest of its family, by having a wider skull than other ceratosaurs. It may also have claim to the most extensive head ornamentation among ceratosaurs. Majungasaurus was indeed a cannibal. Based on research published in 2007, scientists discovered other Majungasaurus bones with distinct bite marks that match perfectly with Majungasaurus's teeth. The only way these marks could have been made was if one Majungasaurus took a bite out of another Majungasaurus, confirming some sort of cannibalistic inclinations in the species. It is unknown if Majungasaurus actively hunted its own kind or if it simply scavenged the carcasses of its dead brethren that it came across. Notably, Komodo dragons will fight and kill their own species if competing for a carcass. After killing the competitor, the victorious Komodo dragon will claim the contested carcass, and cannibalize the body of the loser. It is unknown if Majungasaurus had these tendencies or not, but researchers have their suspicions. Majungasaurus, as previously stated, was the apex predator on its native Madagascar. It dominated the land with a viciously strong bite and ruthless disregard for its own kind only relinquishing its crown during the KT event, when it, just like all other non-avian dinosaurs, disappeared from the face of the earth. 